Hi, everybody. Aloha, and welcome to Season 9. You believe it? Season 9, we've been doing this since 2014. I've been out of commission for a while. This is my first day up without the leg brace. I broke my ankle around the turn of the new year, and I've been out of commission, and I'm finally getting healed up, and while I'm sitting here on the couch for months and months on end, I'm staring at my Beach Boy surfboard. Oh, yeah, anyone who knows me, Knows I'm a major collector and fan of America's band, The Beach Boys. A lot of autographs, I collect a lot of picks, I collect a lot of instruments. But I'm very proud to be America's biggest Beach Boys fan. Leave your comments below. This is not the time for that argument. Anyway, I have this autographed surfboard that came out in about 1996 for the album The Beach Boys Stars and Stripes, which, which was a compilation album they did with country artists. And uh, I bought this. I thought it was kind of inexpensive for having three, not one, but three autographs on this. We've got Bruce Johnston. We've got Al Jardine, who signed it Alan Jardine this time. And very faintly, you can see uh, Brian Wilson on there. So I got it and it came and I was very upset with how damaged it was when it came... Uh, if you turn this around, I'll show you. It has a big crack across here and there. Those cracks are about, you can't see from this side. From here to here, it's almost like it turned up like a picnic table. So, uh, all right, I was disappointed, but I figured let me just hang it over here because there's nowhere to put something like this. And let me just learn to live with it and enjoy it. And, and I began enjoying it. I'm like, you know what, it's not so bad. Three autographs, uh, it hangs up nicely. You can't tell about the damage from, uh, from this side. So, okay, whatever. So I'm sitting there convalescing, healing on the couch. Well, I won't show you that because we're not company ready right now. And the light comes through the window and something happens. And I'm like, I think there are other autographs on here. Come see what you think. It almost looks like there's something written right here. And then I noticed there's something, almost something that looks like it was rubbed off of above Brian's signature. Can you see that? So this, I've realized Mike Love has signed this, but it's rubbed off. Because Brian's has rubbed off. So something must have rubbed these autographs off. And then I'm looking and right above Brian's signature, that none other than Carl Wilson's signature, also very faint. So I take a still cam and I take stills of this area and this area, and I applied Photoshop, and look what I revealed. The actual autographs were there. But why are they rubbed off? So really, this had Bruce, Mike, Al, Brian, and Carl autographed this uh, surfboard. So what happened? Where did those autographs disappear to? I think some idiot who owned this before me, I'm not necessarily saying the guy who I bought it from, but some idiot decided to take this in the water. And I think that the reason it's cracked here and here so evenly is because he might have put it between his legs and cowabunga and jumped into the pool, thereby snapping the front and tail off. Then the water started to dissolve the autographs one at a time in order of how delicately they were drawn on. Now we know Carl, Carl was known as the sensitive beach boy. So he uses a light touch. His autograph came off first. Mike Love, who you would have probably expected to be more brash, maybe he would have pressed harder. I'm Mike Love. But his came off next. Alan stayed on. Bruce's is beginning to smudge off. And as you can see, Brian's was going to be next. So one, two, three, four, five beach boys autographed the surfboard that some idiot took surfing. Aloha, we're back. It's going to be a good year. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Jovanello's back. See you next time.